So Paris Jackson, who I've given to some crap to in the past for, you know, claiming that she's like 100% black when it's very clear that she is not 100% black. She's not black. Let's just put it like that. Um, I've given her some crap in the past, but I'm actually going to take her side on this issue. Um, she is the daughter of Michael Jackson. Although there's an interesting theory about that that I never heard before that I'm kind of starting to believe. All right, let's start with that one because I was Googling her to do research on this topic and this weird connection came up. So now I want to talk about it. Okay, fuck it. I'll get to the real point in a second, but hold on. Just remind me, whoever you are, just tap the screen and I'll you know, get me back on track. Um, okay, so there's a rumor going around I never knew about that Madonna is Paris Jackson's real biological mother. Hear me out. Okay, we all know that Michael Jackson never fucked anybody. Let's just, like, come on, stop the bullshit. We all know Michael Jackson did not touch vagina. He did not touch dick. He didn't touch kids. He didn't touch anything. He just, you know, he just touched himself once in that black and white music video. Went, hee, hee, and that was the end of it. Can you see him having sex? Come on. Oh, oh, Shimon. Oh, oh, hee, hee. Yeah. Yes, now I want you to flip me over and call me a dirty little girl. Mm, you like that? Ooh. Oh, here I go. Here I go. I, there's no way. All right. We all know it. He was like a kid still in his mind and whatever. He was mental, but he was an amazing artist and nobody can ever really compare to him. All right. Now, having said that, he did back in 1990, 91-ish, go on a date with Madonna, who was an evil viper even back then, you know, whatever. But you know what? King of pop, queen of pop, it made sense from a, you know, a PR standpoint, so they went out. Well, here's the theory now. The theory is that he, I mean, she donated her eggs to Debbie Rowe. Why Debbie Rowe didn't have any eggs is beyond me. Did she Did she eat them? I mean, fucking did, did she hatch them already? And she's like, I need some more eggs. I got to make a baby with Michael Jackson. Not really a big baby. But, you know, you know it's actually Tito. But you know, don't tell anybody. And um, so, like... They said that Madonna somehow, read it, just like Google it and you'll, Madonna, Paris Jackson's mom. But it makes sense. I'm not in conspiracy theories at all, but I was like, they show pictures of Paris Jackson. She fucking looks like Madonna. Not now, not scary. Like, uh, you know, Madonna, you know, who's pulled back and is surviving on the blood of virgins and the unborn. No, 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 no. She looks like Madonna. Like they were going to do a movie. Madonna's fucking stupid. Let me tell you why Madonna's stupid real fast. I know how I get off on a tangent all the time. I got ADD like a motherfucker. But Madonna was going to do, they were going to do a movie of Madonna's early life, which actually would make a good story where she was going, they were going to show her struggle and she came from nothing. So you got to give her that, you know, she slept her way everywhere, but you know what? She still kept herself in the zeitgeist for how many decades? That takes a lot to do. She's had the most top 10 hits of any woman all time bar none. I mean, it's just a fact. Now, I don't know if they're number ones, but it's like the most top 10 billboard chart songs. And so it's not inconceivable. They were going to make this movie, right? about her up and coming years and all that and Paris Jackson actually said you know what I think I look a lot like you let me play it but then I had to fuck it up you know she's gonna fuck it up and she's like well because she's British still in her head she's like, I think that my story has not yet been told and there's more to come and if someone is going to tell my story I should tell my story strike a pose Actually, it didn't go like that. You know how Madonna is. She's like 60 now. So she's like, well, I still have a lot of sexy grinding and bumping to do. Maybe I can get Beyonce to be in a video with me and we can bump breasts back and forth. And that'll be controversial. It's not anymore controversial. Well, how about I uh, just, you know, eat a newborn as soon as it comes out of the mother? How about that? And I'll do something sexy right after. So she fucked that up. But Paris Jackson was apparently all on board. Look at pictures of them side by side from that same decade. They look identical. They fucking look identical. Hmm, Michael Jackson went out with Madonna. Maybe Madonna stole it. You know, maybe Madonna like reached over, like he fell asleep, she roofied at Michael or something like that. He's like, I'm gonna go home now. She's like, okay, yeah, yeah, we'll go home in a minute. Here, have some Kool-Aid. Ooh, Kool-Aid, I love Kool-Aid. Oh, and he fell out and she just kind of like, she went over to his penis and she fucking squoze it out into a cup, saved it in her freezer like a psycho. And then Debbie Rowe somehow got it. I don't know. But now, back to what I was originally supposed to talk about. Paris Jackson, who looks like Madonna, you know, Madonna's real daughter, um, was supposed, was getting a lot of shit on social media for not showing up to Janet Jackson's Icon Acceptance Award at the Billboard Music Awards. And I side with Paris Jackson on this because I didn't even know that the Billboard Music Awards were still on or a thing or relevant. I didn't know Billboard was still around a thing or relevant. How the heck would she know? She's got more things to do than I do. I work in the fucking, I manage a porn store, all right? That girl's got photo shoots. She's dating Carla Della the Vinin. You know, she's less now, but God bless her. She's 20, let her experiment. They all do. But um, 
Yeah, it's so much, and she missed it. So everybody's like, "Oh, you such a bitch because you missed it. You such a bitch because you. I can't believe you missed it. Eh, you missed it. You still hope you disrespected Janet's legacy." First of all, let me take you back a few years. Remember her and Janet Jackson had a fight. You guys remember that stuff? Like she was out of control. I mean, she's a teen. She's out of control at that time. She was mad about something. She was like, going like there was like camera footage of it. Like somebody like shouted out like or put the link down there for everybody else to look at. But she was arguing with Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson was about to snatch her little ass up. Remember that? Janet Jackson like grabbed her like this. Like, but you know, you, you're messing with the wrong one right now. I will take you. You got me. I'm Penny from Good Times now. Uh-uh. No, you ain't got new AG nutty professor, man. You know, uh, Janet Jackson, you got you got Penny from Good Times who got burned by that woman. No, no, no. I'm back in the hood. I'm back in the hood. You messed up, white girl. You messed up. She was going to smack her upside the head. You could tell. So they never had a good relationship, but we really don't know. And Paris Jackson herself said, listen, everybody has family drama. A, I wasn't invited. That's kind of weird. B, no one fucking told me about it. No one told me to come and join this nightmare. And C, you know what? It's none of your guys' business, really. And I have to agree with her on that. It's not anybody's business what's going on in her family. Hypocrite me talking about it. But whatever. No, I'm not pretending I know. I'm just guessing and trying to have fun with it. But so what? If she didn't go, she didn't go. It's not like they have the best relationship ever. All right? I don't know if they... Maybe they, you know, go knitting every other weekend or they make pudding together on Sundays in March. I don't know why in March. Why Sundays? But why the hell not? I don't know what the hell they do. But who cares? She don't, well, you're giving her all this hate. And it just reminds me of all the hate I got for talking about her. For saying that she wasn't black as far as I was concerned. There's a, there's a white girl. Or she's at least uh, Christina Aguilera Latina. You know what I'm saying? Come on. That girl walking down the street, if she told any black person that South Side of Chicago is like, I'm black so I can say the N-word, I'm like, they would beat the crap out of her and you know it. They'd be like, who is this Barbie doll walking around here claiming she's one of us? Look at her. No, 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 no. Megan Markle is blacker than her and Megan Markle's light. So come on, stop this crap. But you know what? So what? She didn't go. And Janet Jackson, anyway, how many Icon Awards does she need? And Janet Jackson, somebody needs to tell her it's over. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. They need to tell her it's over. Let's just face it. She was a great dancer, great performer for her time, you know, in the 90s when it all ended for her. Because she hasn't had a hit since. The Velvet Rope. She hasn't had anything since. And I like the little Janet Jackson stands come at me all the time. Like, oh, no, you're, just, you're jealous of her. You're jealous. I'm jealous she's rich. You're absolutely right. I'm jealous she's rich. She, I'm, I wish I could dance like, you know, her. Or anybody who can dance, I can't dance to save my life. Jealous of that, maybe. Aside from that, no. Being part of that crazy-ass family, no. Not jealous at all. I'm just saying that we all remember the Janet album. That was huge. That was like the pinnacle of her career. She never topped that. She just never did. The Velvet Rope, anything else she's done since. What was that album she had like two years ago nobody cared about? Yes. <laughs> it's all she, she can't sing. Come on, you guys. She cannot freaking sing. She can dance her ass off. Madonna can't sing either, so it's not a racial thing or anything like that. She can't sing. She, <laughs> she always sounds like she's at the edge of a climax. Like, I think she's got a vibrator. I really do. I think she's got, like, one of those that somebody's controlling from the audience, like I've said before. She's like, <laughs> like, so Janet Jackson did this, like, performance to accept her Icon Award. Didn't she get an Icon Award, like, a decade or so ago? I swear I remember a bunch of people doing choreographed routines. I'm not even joking. To some of her most famous songs. It was on MTV. Yeah. She got, like, an MTV Icon. How many Icon Awards does this woman need? Listen, she's an icon given, but she needs to stop already. Clear, her and that, you know, weird husband that she had for a while that was, like, beating her every five seconds and she finally got some sense and left. And it's like, oh, wait, I'm rich. I don't need this crap from you. Yeah, I got to go now. So, you know what? Stop giving Paris Jackson crap because she's, I mean, Paris Jackson's obviously got, got her own issues. I forgot how young she was, so I take back some of the stuff I said about her. I thought she, for some reason, I thought she's, like, 25, 26. She's 20. She's not even 21 yet. I remember, I mean, if you're not 20 yet, then you're not going to understand this. But if you were older than 20, especially if you're 30 or plus, you look back at yourself at 20. Tr trust me, anybody under 20 or around 20, you're going to look back at yourself and be like, what an ass. I don't care what you're doing. You could have solved, you know, cancer. <laughs> and you will look back at yourself at 20. Yeah, I solved cancer. But what the hell was this, this, and this that I did? I was such a jag off. I can't believe it. Oh, my God. You just do. You do it like every age. It happens, all right? It's just going to happen 20 people, 20-something, whatever the fuck you call yourself now. So, yeah, uh, Paris Jackson's absolutely right. It's nobody's business. Um, and you know what? God bless her. And she actually, I'm going to end on a positive note. Ooh, ooh, new me. Not really. I'm just writing the time out to the three-month ban is over and me saying bad stuff. So just rock with me and I'll make it up to you, I promise. And the strikes will be lifted in August. I don't know why I'm whispering again, but I feel like I have to. Uh, the girl can actually sing. Paris Jackson can actually sing. She's a beautiful young woman. Beautiful, stunning, stunning. And she's got a modeling career. She's not mad about what I'm saying. She's not mad about what anybody else is saying, all right? So that's what I think about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Show support for the channel. 
show a boob, show a pee-pee, show an ass, whatever you gotta show. And yeah, yay.